In this video, I'm going to show you how to play PlayStation games on your Wii and your Wii U using the newest PlayStation emulator known as Wii Station. Now I'm going to be showing you both the Wii and Wii U, but the downloads are the same, so the only difference will be the placement of the files. So let's get started. If you go to the first link in the description, it should take you to this Mediafire page, where it should download right away. As you see, if I refresh, it'll, it'll start the download in the bottom left. We Station by Zorg. As you can see, this is pretty new, uh, November 20th, which right now is one day ago. So this is the most recent PlayStation emulator. So once that's downloaded, I'm going to pull up my USB drive for my Wii. I'm going to click into the file. You're going to highlight apps and Wii SXRX and drag it onto the root of your USB drive. You could also be using an SD card, but for, for this Wii that I'm using, it's only a USB drive. Now, once it's transferred over, if you go into your apps, you should see Wii Station, and if you open it up, you should see these files here. Now, I do suggest you open the README file. If you open it up, I can use these ones, but we'll just do Internet Explorer, and you can read all about the emulator. So it has a guide here, uh, it tells you how to play the ROMs, the controls, settings, video, etc. So if you want to learn more or if you have any questions about it, I do suggest you read over this first because it's straight from the creators, so it should have the answers you're looking for. But basically, once you have all those files in there, just back out and uh, we'll check on the root. So go to Wii SXRX and it should have all of these files. Now go into your BIOS and check that you have all of these. It comes with this download. Uh, if you download it somewhere else, it might not have these files, but these are pretty important and kind of hard to find. So. This download from Zorg makes it pretty straightforward and easy. If you back out of there, now we're gonna put our ISOs in. So go into your ISOs folder. Now I have Crash Bandicoot ready to go. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to download ROMs in this video, but I will link a different YouTube channel down below where you can learn how to do that. I'm gonna open it up with this. But I'm gonna copy my ROM into there. And once it's in there, it should look like this. One thing to note when you're downloading the ROMs or getting games to play, uh, some of them aren't compatible. There's a compatibility list and it's not completed, but it's a good idea of certain games. It'll be also linked below and you can see if your favorite games are be able to play. So that's it for the Wii. I will quickly uh, plug in my Wii U SD card and show you how to do that. But for those of you just doing this on your Wii, you can go ahead and take out your storage device and I'll meet you over at the Wii. So on the Wii U SD card, we're going to open up that RAR file again, go into the Wii, go into the first fo folder. We're going to drag those same files, apps and Wii SXR, Wii SXRX, geez, hard to say, right onto the root of your SD card. And then you should see these folders right here as well with the BIOS in there. Uh, and then in your apps, you should see Wii Station with the same ones. So to add your ROMs, just go into your ISOs folder and throw them in there. And then it should look like this. So once you're done that, uh, you can take it over to your Wii U. Now once you're over on your Wii, just go to your homebrew channel. Now this will be the same process on your virtual Wii, on your Wii U. So you can just follow along on this one. Once your apps load, just go ahead and find Wii Station and load it up. And then once it's loaded, you should see this. So basically, you need to load the ISO you want to play. So just click A on load ISO. And then you pick where your ISOs are from. So mine are on a USB drive for my Wii. But if they're on your Wii U, they're going to be on your SD card. So make sure you pick the right one. So load from USB. And then I'm going to choose Crash Bandicoot Bin because that's, that's the one I got. Press OK, and then after you've picked the game, you just click play game, and it should uh, start you up. Now the top left is just your FPS. Uh, there is a way to get rid of that if you go into your video settings, but it doesn't bother me, so I'm not going to change anything. So now that we're playing, uh, I just want to let you know you can use the Wii Remote. I'm holding it sideways right now, and if you want to use other controllers, you might have to go into the configuration settings for that. Uh, but I'm not too sure. The Wii Remote is working just fine. But anyways, uh, I hope this was helpful. And if it was, please leave a like. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.